In this tutorial we're going to send an email to a group of recipients and the email is going to contain an attachment. Now the first thing we need to do is a bit peculiar. We're logged into the Avagio CRM site and the first thing we're going to do is click on up here on the tab and duplicate the tab. And you will be able to do this in two of the three main browsers but not in Firefox. In Firefox you will have to select the uh, address, control C it, or you sort of triple click the address in order to select it um, and then you can uh, control V it into there, hit return and yep, that works. Okay, that's another way of doing it. But in IE and Chrome, you can simply duplicate it. The reason we're doing this is so that we can get the link from the uh, uh, attachment when we need it. The attachment is in Tools. It's a document here, Test2. The link is the, that we need is this one. The reason why we need it is because if you click on it like that, Excuse me. Right, sorry about that. So this is the link that provides a download. Here is the opportunity to download it. We don't want that just yet, so we'll just cancel it. Uh, but we do have that link copied into the paste buffer. But in case we lose it, we can always come back. So we go back to our first page here. We're going to use a group of uh, contacts or recipients for this email. Let's go and see who they are. The group is called Test Group, and the people are Heather Williams and myself. Right, let's get on with it. Create the email. Um, the campaign. The campaign name is Test. The email subject line comes up as test. You can see the uh, email address here and the reply to address here. Now the difference between the, the from email address sorry, and the reply to address is that uh, this is who it's from and if you reply this is who will get it. Now you can edit these things here on this link under here but uh, basically it's all set up okay right now. Now the personalized to field um, is checked and this allows us to uh, substitute to, to sort of say dear Jeremy or dear Heather in the email. You'll see more of that in a minute. Right we pick the template. No, notice that we're stepping along here there are five steps and we're on step two now. Um, we're going to pick the standard template, which is a freeform template. This is it here. We can see here that um, how this first name is going to get in. This is called a tag, and that is going to be substituted in each email. That is going to be substituted by the first name of the recipient. We can add another tag if you want. Uh, we go to the tag list here, that's a link, and we can find, for example, last name. And we'll select that. The way you select it, double click on it. Oops, no, you do it like that. Beg your pardon. You select it like that, and you uh, you can copy it like that, or you just control C it. And I've already put a space there. I didn't tell you I was doing it, but I did it. You can insert it here with a control V. It brings up this box. You control V again. Hit OK. And you've got dear first name, last name. Now, when I get this email, it's going to say dear Jeremy Bushel for that reason. OK. Right, a few more things. Here's the, t the subject. Um, we're going to call it um, your attachment. Um, is here. 
we're going to pretty this up with the word processing stuff that we have here. We've got some word processing tools. Let's make it bold. Let's underline it. Let's change the font to my favorite Madonna and let's make it bigger, larger. Okay. You can even change the color, I think, probably too. Um, and then we're going to uh, get rid of that and we're going to put in a link. And this is where we're going to type in the, uh, where we're going to paste in the link that we retrieved earlier, except that we can't because we've already overridden the buffer like that. So that's why we need to go to this page and refresh that link. That's why we had two pages open. Copy link address back to this one. In it goes. All right. And we want to edit that link and put something nice there. What are we going to do? Okay, we're not. All right, so that's how you set up the attachment. We're going to keep going and we're going to add the group like that. Keep going. The group is called test, I think. Test group. Yep. Keep going. And now we're ready to review and send. Okay. We notice that there are two contacts. We should always check this. Check that there are two contacts in the, in the uh, that are going to get the email. If there are not two, you have to explain that. Um, I don't think you should be setting up groups that uh, where the people are not actually uh, ready to receive emails. Um, proceed to test and send. Now we should hear click to send a test email. I can't do that because um, I'm actually impersonating Heather at this moment and uh, if I sent myself an email it would be Heather that got it. <coughs> so I'm just going to proceed, send my campaign straight away. Yep. And it's going to be sent at some point by Avagio. and but what I can do is go and have a look at my email and uh, it's not there yet well it should be but it isn't it's not there Okay, there it is. Let's have a look at it. Okay, your attachment is here. Click to download. I'm going to click on it and see what happens. Yep, I'm going to get that. I'm not going to actually going to download it, but you can see that I could. So, um, here's that screen that uh, we were looking at before. If I um, just refresh that by touching the F5 key, uh, you can see that two emails were sent. It hasn't noted that I've opened one of them for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, except we've got 50% click through, so that's kind of interesting that I have, but you know, what does that mean? Um, anyway, that's it. I think we're done now. Thank you for watching.